What's up, Cal Gang? All right, we're back with some more physics problems. Let's go. All right, so we got a shower head, right? It has 20 openings, and we're trying to find uh, how fast it leaves the shower head openings. So let's write out what we know, right? Uh, we don't really need a picture for this, but you know, we can kind of, here's our shower head, right? Okay, so what do we know? So we know that the radius is one centimeter here. And then we know that the radius for each one of these is 0 0.9 millimeters. So a very small radius, right? And we know that there's 20 openings. And then we also know that the velocity here is 3.5. Okay, and then it wants to know how fast they come out of each opening. So let's do that. So we know that the equation for this, uh, so velocity at one times the area of one is the same as velocity two, area of two. Okay, so what do we have here, right? We have the velocity of one, and we can calculate the area of one. We can calculate the area of two, and we're trying to find the velocity of two. So of course, all we're gonna need to do is find these areas. So let's start here, area here. So let's convert everything to meters because we want everything in meters. So radius here is equal to 0 0.01 meter, right? If you do that conversion correctly. And then this radius is 0 0.0009, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, yeah, that's right meters. Okay, so they're circular openings, so we know that the area of a circle is pi radius squared. So we can say that the area of 1 is equal to pi 0 0.01 squared. And the area of 2 is equal to pi 0 0.0009 squared, but that's just for one of the openings. It's going through 20 openings, so we have to consider that that's the area, so we're going to multiply all of this by 20. Okay, so we have everything we know. Let's go ahead and plug it into our equation. So we're, gonna get, uh, so we're trying to find velocity two, so we can go ahead and rearrange it first. So just divide that area two over to the other side and you're gonna get velocity two squared, or velocity two is equal to velocity one, area one, over area two. Plugging in what we know, velocity two is equal to 3.5. Um, so the pi's are gonna cancel, but we can write them out. Pi 0 0.01 squared over pi, so the pi's are going to cancel, uh, 0 0.0009 squared times 20. And you plug this to your calculator to get an answer. Um, yes, let me make sure I did all this right. So this is going to be 21.6 meters a second, or I think the bug has it as 22 meters a second. So either one of these is good. Yeah, so that's how you solve this problem. Basically, just coming down to knowing that formula and uh, learning how to calculate the area of a circle. And you get that done and you're all good. So yeah, uh, good luck on your uh, physics homework. Uh, stick around for some more, uh, more practice problems and uh, maybe I'll help you out a little bit. So yeah, see you later guys. Thanks for all the support.